Hey guys, it's Redded1567 here. So, today I bring you another Pokemon X and Y video. And today I'm going to be trying, well, attempting to capture Mewtwo. So, before I get into any details, I'd just like to say you, uh, to be able to capture Mewtwo, you have to have beaten the Elite Four. Uh, also, I advise you to bring some Super Repels, any type of Repels, to get those pesky Pokemon away that pop out, out of the grass. And you will also need the HM Surf. So, going back to everything, you're going to have to head off at Snowbelly or Snowbella City. And then head through Route 20, uh, aka Winding Woods, and to the Pokemon Village. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, I actually did try it before, and I killed Mewtwo by accident. So, in my team, I got a Ampharos that has uh, Thunder Wave and a Haxorus uh, that has... Uh, false swipe. So, I did attempt. I was going to attempt in all the videos I'd done to basically capture, uh, try and capture Mewtwo with a quick ball. Uh, originally, I was saying to myself, um, if I don't catch it the first time, I'm not gonna like quick save or anything. But when I actually killed it, I just uh, turned off my DS, sent it back on, or well, quick saved. And where it was saved us was at the Poke Center, so it was alright. So, I will try quick ball again. I'm only going to be, like, focusing on the quick ball. Obviously, I'm going to use the quick ball once, and then if it doesn't work, then just carry on bat battling it. But, um, if I catch it with a quick ball, then I'll kind of be doing this thing where I'll try, I'll try and be known for catching legendaries with just one quick ball. But, the first time I tried, uh, like, that Mewtwo was not budging. Like, just trust me, like... I went the wrong way. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, that Mewtwo was not budging. Like, I threw that quick ball. Didn't even wobble once. It was just like, okay then. <laughs> but Mewtwo is uh, pretty the same for the generations where it's in a cave. And then if you don't beat the Elite Four, you go to find it. And then someone's just like standing there waiting outside saying, oh, it's too scary or... Um, it's too, uh, there's too strong, where, like, there's a guy there, and he's just like, oh, the cave's too scary, or there's too, too much powerful Pokemon, you're not ready, or something dumb like that, but this is where you're gonna have to use Surf, the first time I came here, I forgot that you had to use Surf, so, yeah, so I'm leading off with Ampharos, just so I can hit that Thunder Wave if the Quick Ball doesn't work, and then straight after that, I'll just go into Haxorus, but, Unknown Dungeon. So I always find it weird when I go to talk to him. It's like something big's gonna happen. But it's like this happens and you think something big's gonna happen or something different. But then he just spins around really quick and then. Yeah. So. The, all the moves I know that he has at the moment is uh, from what I've. What I've done with my last video is he has Barrier and, uh, what's it called, Aura Sphere. I'm just going to go straight for that Thunder Wave. As he goes for that Barrier. Since so he's boosting up his defense, I'm just going to go for the Power Gem. Uh, see how much damage that does. Then I'm going to switch into my uh, Haxorus, because I don't want to be using False Swipe. Um when he has barrier up since oh crap i forgot to use the quick board uh and i forgot to save wow okay that was a pretty much of a fail altogether wow okay, so don't make the mistake i made and not save <laughs> that was a pretty bad fail but yeah this i'm gonna have to catch it the good old normal way i know quite a lot of people use their master ball on mewtwo uh, but I'm saving that for maybe something else, I don't know. But I'm going to go into Haxorus now, since, like, the last time, uh, Mewtwo was at this range, and I used to move it, killed it off, and I thought that it wouldn't have killed it, but it did. Oh, yeah, it has Psychic, it's a bit obvious. Haxorus does not take that Psychic at all. <laughs> okay, hopefully this will get it to 1 HP. I doubt it, though, since it has a barrier up. But oh, got a crit! Oh crap! Recover seriously. Okay, I did not see that coming. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the false swipe again. And if he kills me off, I'll probably just go for let's say some timer balls. Cause in game, oh snap! Okay then. 
that is not good. That's not good. All right. I don't want to go for the X as well, just in case it kills it. But I'm going to go for it. Oh, wow. I didn't even go over half. Okay. He is just destroying my team. All right, all right. Didn't know he had to recover. That's not good. Let's go back into my Amphrodos. That that little plan of using uh, false swipe didn't quite work out. But after this, I'm probably going to use some timer balls because I know timer balls work uh, very well after a certain a certain amount of uh, turns. So, and also in game, when I was talking to some one of the Pokeball manufacturers or something, they were saying how it works well against Pokemon that have recovering moves. So, I'm just gonna go for the uh, timer ball now, since he keeps on recovering. That's not good. Uh, so let's see, timer ball, timer ball, timer ball, timer ball. I got 48. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see how many, how many times it 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 moves around one okay one all righty then yeah let's just go for that power gem again so every time i use power gem he like gets paralysis straight after but yeah Yay, caught Mewtwo. Alright, cool, that's pretty cool. It's <sighs> pretty nice. Alright, I wonder where its uh, Mega Stone would be now. Let's see if there's anything in this dungeon. Oh yeah, nice. So you get the Mewtwo Knight straight after. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed, guys. So I guess it's like two videos in one. How to catch Mewtwo and get a Mewtwo uh, Ite. But yeah, hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, subscribe and see you guys later.